what is the point of starting bug bounty programs if only 2.5% of hackers on the Hackers 101 program get rewarded? Um, getting the info from Free Code Camp. Well, mm -hmm. okay, so the majority of people that are participating in these programs um, that don't get rewarded will be reporting on things that are, have already been discovered or disclosed. Mm -hmm. So like if somebody else gets there first and discloses something and then you disclose it and you weren't the first one and the company is already in the process of patching, then somebody else has already gotten that. And most of the low-hanging fruit is mm -hmm. going to be stuff that gets patched like relatively quickly. I feel like a lot of the thing is like once there's a problem that's re that's relatively easy to find, a lot of people are going to discover it, but only the first person is going to get rewarded for it. So mm -hmm. by, you know, either looking for more niche things or by like finding a way of like scanning for more things and, and just hitting it as a numbers game, like that might be a better way of doing it. But yeah, being aware that like a lot of the times in these bug bounty programs, if somebody gets there first and the company has a reasonable amount of time to patch it, there will be a time in between the disclosure and the point where like, you know, it, it's actually fixed that it'll still be vulnerable but you won't get rewarded for finding it. So it can be a little bit discouraging, but people do still make money mm -hmm. off of this. It just is entirely possible to find something that is validly a bug, get super excited about it, and then not get rewarded for it because you know they're in the disclosure process and somebody else has already found it. Yeah, and that's one of the things I've talked about before, and that's where specialization can really pay off because I think part of that statistic is you know a large number of beginners coming in and using the same basic scanning tools and the same basic approaches to look for things that have already been uh, looked for and patched, right? Uh, if you can use a scanning tool, then uh, the, their, their developers can use that same scanning tool, right? Um, and then also just like sending a bug report that is like just the output of one of these scanning tools isn't really going to be useful to those developers necessarily. So if you can specialize and you, you know, you're really, really good at finding uh, a certain type of attack, and then you just go to every company and look for that attack in all their code, then that could be a more profitable mm. approach. Yeah.